Hey plant gang, look at this soft blue shrub around me, Mahonia aquifolium, the Oregon gray poly. Uh, now there is a bit of a move to move this out of the Mahonia genus uh, and make this a berberus, like a barberry. Uh, and it is in that family, Berberidaceae. And if you were to crack this wood open, you would see that telltale sign of that whole family, yellow wood. Native to the Pacific Northwest, and you see this growing up uh, from California uh, northward on the on the on coastal regions of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, here in Tennessee, we struggle a little bit with growing this plant. It has to be placed in the right right area. It prefers a little bit of afternoon shade for us. A little bit of a novelty for us to be growing this because it does not appreciate our heat and humidity. Uh, but it has beautiful yellow fragrant flowers that top this. Uh, and then cascade. We don't see this a lot, but uh, then they will cascade with a uh, beautiful grape-like berry that's on top of it. I'm looking around, I'm seeing the new growth has a russety red color to it that's quite beautiful. Uh, a shrub that I wouldn't go all in on in Tennessee uh, or in the southeastern United States, but a great North American native um, that you should know as a person trying to identify plants. So this Mahonia aquifolium Oregon gray poly, evergreen to semi-evergreen, upright to oval type shrub, maturing to four to five foot high, spreading about three foot wide. Could be a little bit bigger or smaller depending on the location that you're growing it. Uh, powdery blue, slight gloss to the leaf uh, you want to look at. Uh, it does have compound leaves uh, that you want to clue in on and make sure that you know uh, what that looks like. Uh, consider really a small shrub uh, for the right place. Uh, hardy from zones five through maybe 6B7 uh, would be good climactic hardiness zones. Uh, to think about for this plant. Here's a landscape tip. This plant prefers partial shade to full shade in a protected site. 